Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I'm taking a quick look at an application called TeamViewer, which just released a beta application for uh, Android. TeamViewer lets you remotely log into uh, other computers. And I'm running right now the TeamViewer software on my PC, and um, there's actually a no-install version where you just run it, it gives you a password, it gives you an ID number, you enter that into the mobile version, and there you go. When you first launch, you'll get a list of, um, sort of instructions here, drag with one finger to move the mouse pointer, perform single clicks, uh, uh, taps, single finger taps for a, a click, uh, two fingers for a right click, uh, drag and drop or resize move it, uh, or move windows, hold the finger for about a second before you start moving it, uh, drag with double tap and hold, zoom using pinch gestures, and scroll with both fingers up and down. So there you go. So right now you can see I've got the mobile computing website here. We can zoom using the same gestures that you would use to zoom in a browser. At the bottom you can see that we have a couple of different options here. We can bring up a keyboard if we needed to enter some text. Sort of takes up most of the screen, but uh, you know if you just need to enter a URL or something you can do that. We can make it go away. And that was the settings menu, so we can actually adjust the screen resolution of the computer that we're logged into. Um, I have a dual monitor set up. I can switch from one monitor to the other. Change the quality. Uh, right now it's automatic, which means that it should um, adjust itself depending on your connection speed and other variables. Remove the desktop wallpaper, which helps uh, speed up things a little bit. Uh, show a remote cursor, and a couple of other settings here. So you can see I actually switch um, monitors. Let's switch back to the first one here. And so there's the other display. Um, there's also a zoom button here, which is a little bit smoother, actually, than what you get when you do a pinch to zoom, I feel like. And I believe I noticed this before. You can actually use the volume buttons to zoom, but again, it's not as smooth. Let's show you. Uh, you can actually see the cursor moving as well as, I'm sort of dragging across the screen here, and say I want to right-click, let's do two-finger tap, two-finger tap, let's try this, there we go. Um, so we can go to, say, open link in new tab. It's kind of hard to see here because we're zoomed out, but that should lead to a new browser tab. And so we switch tabs, and now we're at the article page. I'm going to scroll back over here and show you something else I discovered, which was kind of interesting, which is that... The application actually can handle video playback at low frame rates. Um, the audio you're hearing is actually coming from my computer, which is right next to me. The audio is not coming through here, but you can see that the video actually comes through fairly well over a uh, fast internet connection, at least. So let's go ahead and pause that again. And... Um, Take a quick look at settings. You can, uh, or tools, reboot the computer, block remote user input, or hit Control Alt Delete. Um, of course, like Control Alt Delete actually brought up this on the other window. But you can also see that as I manipulate my computer using a mouse, um, that things show up in pretty much real time on the uh, mobile version of TeamViewer. So there you go. That's the first look at TeamViewer beta for Google Android, a uh, remote computer access tool. There's also a version available for the iPhone. This is Brad Linder with Mobiputing.